Proper training of fire investigators is got to be an ongoing process. It has to be uh, come from a reputable source, come from uh, good classes of people that are knowledgeable in, in the business and have gone through some of the science and uh, certainly the science and the training and you can get that education from them. Key skills needed are uh, basically outlined in two standards. One is NFPA 921, that's the guide for fire and explosion investigations in 1030, NFPA 1033. And they're outlined in there, but uh, a good engineering background helps, a good uh, knowledge of science, and certainly uh, not just um, education, but real practical knowledge of following somebody in the field is also helpful, a, a good fire investigator. So you can learn the skills on scene. Uh, manufacturers have uh, somewhat of an advantage because they'll know, or they should know, the electrical systems on the vehicle. They should know how that system operates and, and have done extensive testing on those vehicles prior to production. But what they can do beyond that is to understand that there are fire investigation techniques, that there, are, there is a science to fire investigations and to get their engineers that are doing fires or, or preparing for fires on their vehicles. Uh, to be doing the investigations out in the field so they can take that knowledge and bring it back to the engineering so they can actually design fires out. And that's the key, design the fires out. The overall health and safety of the users of the equipment is, is predominant, is, is where we need to focus our efforts. Uh, need to analyze accident trends, analyze fire trends, uh, find out what's causing accidents and fires, and then seek to design them out.